Hey, I'm Professor Perez from Saddleback College. In this example, we are going to do a dosage calculation. So let's get started right there. Calculate the amount of amoxicillin to administer. Here we have ordered amoxicillin 450 milligrams to be given orally every eight hours. Our dosage strength is 400 milligrams amoxicillin per five milliliters. Note, the dose on hand is the same units as the dose ordered, therefore no conversion is required. We're going to perform this calculation using three different methods. Let's go to our first method, the proportion method. Well, what is a proportion? Remember, a proportion is an equation of two ratios. Let's begin by using our dosage strength ratio. Here we have the ratio dose on hand to the dosage unit. And this ratio is equal to the desired dose to the amount to administer. Now let's go ahead and represent our quantities using their capital letter abbreviations. So here we have H over Q is equal to D over A. Now remember, we have to solve for A. To do so, we're going to cross multiply first. So we go A times H is equal to Q times D. And to solve our equation for A, we will divide both sides by H, giving us the equation A equals Q times D divided by H. Let's go ahead and remind ourselves what these capital letter abbreviations represent. Remember, Q represents the dosage unit, D represents the desired dose, and H represents the dose on hand. And remember, A represents the amount to administer, and that is what we're trying to calculate here. So let's go ahead and put in our quantities. Our dosage unit is 5 milliliters. Our desired dose is 450 milligrams. Our dose on hand is 400 milligrams. Notice here that the milligrams cancel, leaving us with the desired units of milliliters. Performing our calculation, we get 5.625 milliliters. Rounding to the nearest hundredth gives us 5.63 milliliters, which is said 5 and 63 hundredths milliliters. Don't forget to circle or box your final answer. Now let's go ahead and perform the same calculation using dimensional analysis, which means we're going to use a conversion factor. Remember, we're asked to calculate the amount to administer in milliliters. So let's begin with our desired dose, and let's write that as a ratio, 450 milligrams to 1. Now we need to convert these milligrams to milliliters using a conversion factor. And the information for the conversion factor is going to come from our dosage strength. But notice here, we put the dose on hand in the denominator because we want those milligrams to cancel. In the numerator, we place our dosage unit. And notice milligrams cancel, leaving us with our desired units of milliliters. Once again, performing our calculation, we get 5.625 milliliters, which gives us 5 and 63 hundredths of a milliliter, rounded to the nearest hundredth. And again, always circle or box your final answer. Now notice here, the amount to administer is equal to the desired dose times the dosage unit divided by the dose on hand. Well, this gives us a formula to use. And that takes us to our final method for calculating the amount to minister in this example. It's called the formula method. So what is our formula? Well, the amount to administer is equal to the desired dose times the dosage unit divided by the dose on hand. This is what we saw in the previous example. And so, Let's represent our quantities using their capital letter abbreviations. Here we have A is equal to D times Q divided by H. Representing the D as a fraction, we simply place it over 1. Multiplying the fractions together gives us our formula for the amount to administer. A is equal to D times Q divided by H. So let's use this formula to perform this calculation. Let's replace D with 450 milligrams. Remember, that's our desired dose. Our dosage unit Q is 5 milliliters, and our dose on hand H is 400 milligrams. Notice, once again, milligrams cancel, leaving us with the desired units of milliliters. 
Performing our calculation, we get 5.625 milliliters. Rounded to the nearest hundredth, we get 5.63 milliliters, which is properly said as 5 and 63 hundredths of a milliliter. Don't forget to circle or box your final answer. And always remember to do that homework. And don't forget, always say yes to homework and no to drugs. We'll see you all again soon.